Okay, good morning. It is the uh, 10th of January, 2017. Sitting under the uh, Destin Bridge. We've had a couple of really cold days here. It's got down in the 20s. And we've had a lot of rain. So, the water, as you can see, is a little muddy today with all the rain. And uh, there's so much uh, fresh water in the bay that even though the tide should be coming in right now, there's so much water in the bay, it's going out. But anyway, we're going to give some sheephead fishing a try this morning. Of course, we're using the rat fishing system. And I have uh, knocked uh, some uh, oysters off these pilings and uh, I've shucked them. And the, that's the results right there. Now, one thing I like to tell everybody is uh, once you shuck your oysters, you want to keep them. The shells of the oysters are full of little barnacles and stuff, which sheephead eat. So I always, you know, step on and stomp them like that. Then I, I push them over, and that's my chum. And that's how I kind of keep keep the sheephead interested. Try not to put too much at a time. I've watched lots and lots of people uh, scrape barnacles and stuff, and they'll scrape off 50, 100 pounds of barnacles. You know, trying to keep the sheep head. All they're really doing is just filling them up. They're sitting there, and man, they're ringing a the dinner bell. Fish get full of barnacles, uh, they stop biting, right? Okay, well, we got our uh, bait injector right here. Got it about two thirds full of oysters. I got my wrap on the end there. So I'm going to go ahead and put me some, uh, some bait in that wrap. There we go. Again, you can see how nice that is. The wrap just basically disappears uh, into the bait. Using kind of a Carolina rig, as you can see. Uh, the current's not too bad right now, so I'm using a one ounce. Uh, that's actually three quarters of an ounce. Barrel swivel. And I got about a 12 inch uh, leader on there with a short shank bait hook number one and again all you do close the top of the wrap you just hook it there hook it there and now the, the wraps closed at the top and then I take the hook and then hide it in there and there you go all right let's see what's going on if anything this is my first bait down of the day I don't know what's going to happen here, but we'll see. All right, it's about 30 feet of water right here. Like I said, it's pretty muddy today. We had those really cold. It was got it got down in the in the twenties here locally. Sometimes the, it gets that cold, the sheephead fishing will kind of fall off a little bit. But we'll see. Well, nothing jumped on it right away. There's a fish. That's a good one too. Oh yeah. That's not a bad start if I can get him in. Come on, Mr. Sheephead. There he is. Oh, 
not a real big one, but that ain't a bad start to the day. Okay, one thing he did do that they normally don't do is he took, he took that bait right down. He swallowed it. Yep. Okay, I want you to take a look. I got that bait out of that sheephead's mouth. And look at there. I still got enough bait left in there to go after another sheephead. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of rewind that on there a little bit. You'd be surprised how little oyster you have to have on your hook to actually catch a sheephead. So let's go back down there. See if we can't get another one. So that little old piece of oyster I got on there, that's about, represents about one-fourth of a, of an oyster. Because what I do is I, once I shuck my oysters for real nice size oysters, I break them into fourths. And then I put them in the, uh, the bait injector. And that's, that's about a fourth of an oyster. Ain't much more than that. So I caught one on him. Can I catch another one on a fourth of an oyster? I don't know. a little bite there or something. I don't know if that was a fish or, or the bottom. Yeah, that's a fish. Look at there. I done hooked up on another sheep head on a fourth of an oyster. Oh yeah, that's a nice healthy little fish here. The sheep head are pretty cold this morning. They're not they're not fighting quite as hard as they normally do. The water's cold. But I mean even still they put up a good fight. This is a bigger fish here. Yeah, it's a nice one. Okay. And that is if I can get him out of the net here without breaking my line I want everybody to see that there it is and you know I, I still got I want you to note I still got some bait not a lot but I still got some left in that oyster, I mean left in the wrap. You know, I'm gonna give that a try. It ain't a lot, but sometimes it don't take a lot. I'm gonna go right back down with it. So I've caught two sheep head, one fourth of an oyster, and I still got a little bait left in there. I don't know if it's enough to get another fish interested, but we'll see. Two sheep head, one fourth of an oyster. Now, if that was to work out just right, that's that would be eight sheephead on one oyster. If I could work that kind of magic, I'm not sure if I can.
Hey, look at there. Look at there. I have got hooked up another sheep head. That's number three. That is number three on the same bait. Oh, man. Number three on the same bait. Oh, that's a good fish there. That's a, that's, that's a bigger fish. Like I said, it don't, it just don't take a lot of oyster to catch a sheephead. Look at there. Heck, he's bigger than the other one. They're, they're going up in size. Man, look at there. Look at that fish. Now these ain't real huge sheephead. These are all running around three or four pounds. But I just caught number three on the same bait. Same one quarter of an oyster, one fourth of an oyster. I have caught three sheephead. And you know something? Folks, I still got a little bait left in there. <laughs> 